Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mark Lamont, man. Welcome back to Elbow Media Studios. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel, man, and welcome to Studio B. Most of the time, I, you know, I'm in my office, which is, I'm going to call Studio A, because I do a lot of work in there, but I decided to go ahead and do this uh, review uh, inside of Studio B because I really needed the light to really show you guys uh, this MIDI controller that I'm going to be talking about today. But before I get into this controller, I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of background of, of where I come from as far as keyboards is concerned. I started back way long time ago and my first keyboard was an ASR-10. And for a lot of y'all, y'all probably don't even know what that is, but the ASR-10 was essentially, it was the first really true hip hop uh, keyboard for guys that were doing beats as far as I'm concerned. If you wasn't using the MPC, uh, you were using an ASR-10. So I come from, you know, that era where we had ASR-10, I had the uh, TS-12, I had a lot of keyboards in my studio, which was crazy because um, you needed a lot of keyboards because, you know, sometimes there were certain sounds like you had a Korg or you had a Roland or whatever you had sometimes those keyboards were sound specific so you had to have that keyboard in there in order for you to be able to you know get those samples or those sounds unless you know kind of with the SR10 you could kind of uh, you know steal some samples I guess or create your own but anyway I come from that era of uh, of beat making and to be honest with you man the MIDI controller saved all of us you know what i'm saying like let me just keep it real essentially what a midi controller is it is a device that can essentially can control something else like a laptop or any type of device that is you know that can take data in and operate over midi and it's just phenomenal i love it and now with midi keyboards getting even smaller and more compact i decided i already have a midi keyboard and uh, I'll show you some pictures of it. Uh, it's an M Audio, and I love it. I love that. But since I've been doing music on the iPad, I decided that I wanted to get something a little bit smaller, and I wanted to get a little bit more mobile. Now, there's a lot of MIDI keyboards out there. The first one I went with, which was the most popular, was the Akai um, small little mini uh, uh, MIDI controller. And to be honest with you, I did not like the keys. Uh, they just felt too um, too thin for me. They, they, I just couldn't get my fingers around it. I needed something a little bit longer. So I searched and searched. I ran across this one. Uh, this this MIDI keyboard is by uh, IKEA. I'm sorry, <laughs> IKEA. That's probably why this desk this desk comes from. But uh, it's IK Multimedia. And um, these guys have a lot of stuff out there, man. I was going through their catalog and they are packed to the rim with controllers. So I figured since these guys had a lot of products out there, they had to be a reputable company. Let's take a look at some of their stuff and see if I can get a better feel. Well, I ran across this unique uh, MIDI controller. And what was unique about it, what what I found to be unique about it was that it comes with a MIDI interface already built into the controller. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's great because now since we're all, everybody's trying to get smaller with their music production as far as, you know, just mobility, um, I was like, wouldn't that be cool if you were able to hook up some speakers to your MIDI controller, hook up a microphone to your MIDI controller, where it be a condenser mic because it has phantom power on it, or just a regular mic or Yeti or whatever, um, hook all that up to it and still be able to control Beatmaker 3 or whatever DAW you were using uh, to make your beats and still record essentially anywhere you're where you're at. You know, you can take all this and you can do that. I thought that was just a cool, cool idea for them to do that. And I haven't seen anybody else. That, there may be some other people out there, but I ran across this one. I like the price, so I went ahead and bought it. And now I'm letting you guys get a, a look at it and I'm gonna kind of give y'all a, a quick overview. I've been having it for about two weeks, so I'm not gonna go too deep. Um, I am gonna do some tutorials where I'm going to connect it to Beatmaker because I did kind of find that to be a little challenging, but uh, I'm gonna show you some tutorials on that if you do have this MIDI controller or any MIDI controller uh, 
I'm, I'm gonna show you how to get that running inside of Beatmaker 3. But let's go ahead on and look at this, this guy for a minute. Let me turn it around for you guys so y'all can really, really get a good look at that. Check that out, man. I mean, that's pretty slick. And I love how, how the keys are, are just perfect for my hands. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got your knobs here, and guess what? All of these are touch sensitive, so that's kind of cool. This is also touch sensitive. This is your pitch and bend. Uh, right here you have some more controls where you can control your octaves and things like that. This can kind of sub as your play. Uh, let me make sure you can see that. This can kind of sub as your um, your play button when you're in Beatmaker 3. And this is like a switcher where you can switch between volumes and some things like that. But this thing is, I ain't gonna lie, man, I, I like the way it looks. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the reasons why I actually got it because I, I said, man, yo, that joint look hot. Don't get me wrong now. The Akai stuff looks hot. It's colorful. It's cute. But I just was cool with the black and, and the piano. You know what I'm saying? Look, black and white. Like, that was cool for me. You know what I mean? But what's really throwed off and what's really tight is the way this thing looks next to your iPad. It actually comes with, which I thought was cool, they put a iPad stand in there. And this is perfect for, I guess any type of iPad you got, but you know, I got the 12.9, so the weight is not a problem, it's perfect. Um, also, it comes with the wires to hook directly into your iPad, so you don't have to worry about that. And it does recognize, your, you know, the, the mini controller as soon as you plug it in, you know what I'm saying, like boom. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the 25 keys was a little bit different for me. I've never really done anything smaller than 49, but once I start messing around with it, man, it kinda, kind of made me a little bit more focused a little bit uh i thought that was kind of cool but uh we're gonna go over some of the some of the options here in the back of the keyboard um it starts out with a foot sustain then you have a button for your you have a button here for your um for your phantom power um you also have your input quarter inch uh or xlr you have your gain where you can turn up your gain and that's kind of for your volume you have your left and right speakers so you can have speakers hooked to this thing like we just talked about you have your headphone jack you have your device for your for your proprietary cord that comes with it you can also hook dc power up to this guy and then it also comes with batteries as you can see right here you can have batteries to this thing so you're you're not limited uh with this controller now the question you're gonna probably ask is mark how does it feel how does the keys feel listen man it's it's not weighted but there's tr they're trying to simulate weighted keys and i was playing with it you know again it took me a little while to get used to it but once i start banging away i mean it feels great to me um it all, all of the buttons light up the, uh, the 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 pads they're fine i mean again i have a different i have a couple of controllers so the pads are not really what i bought this for i bought it for the keys but they are touch sensitive so they're pressure sensitive velocity sensitive so if you want to bang away at this and get your 808s and get your kicks and snares and everything going you're fine what i really 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 was feeling was the the touch on the on the pitch and the uh on the mod pitch and that was pretty hot you know what i'm saying i was able to get some some freaky stuff going with that right there so i am overall i am pretty satisfied with this small compact midi controller that really looks great with my ipad i mean i could go through specs on this thing but again we're musicians i mean if you tell me that I got everything in one and I could hook this thing up, hook my iPad up to this thing, slam me some speakers in there, put me a microphone on there and be able to control all that right from here, you already got me sold because the whole my whole point is I want to limit how many devices I take out with me when I'm on the road and when I'm dealing with other artists and I'm meeting guys and meeting people and I'm ready to get the work and I don't have to deal with all of this different equipment. I want everything to kind of be in one. And it sounds great. I've already hooked it up. I, I listened to it. It sounds perfect, man. Hey, those guys over at IK uh, Media did a great job with this MIDI controller. So that is my review on this thing. I'm not gonna give it a number. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm a musician. If you wanna get you a small 
compact MIDI controller that has four length keys, right? That feels good in your hand. It'll still fit in your bag, even though it's, it's got a little size on it. It'll still fit in your bag with your iPad and you come with a stand and everything else. This is the one to get, man. So, hey, I'm your boy, man, Mark Lamont, a.k.a. Marcus Elbow. I've been, yeah, I appreciate everybody coming by and checking out the channel, man. Y'all already know how you number love, baby. You know what I mean? I want y'all, I want to wish y'all a happy holidays, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't eat too much barbecue, you know what I mean? Watch that cholesterol for my older cats, you know what I mean? And uh, I will see y'all in the next video, all right? All right, man, one, peace.